Well, I got my FedEx package from Super 7 today, Wave 10 of TMNT, uh, minus one of the figures, because I think it was just a repaint. I I actually don't even, even remember everything that was in Wave 10. Uh, a Rat King was supposed to be in there, but um, I think there was a repaint. I only got three of the figures. This is how the box arrived from it was FedEx and USPS. So, uh... That came pretty beat up. Whoops. Hopefully, everything is fine. Well, let's see how they're shipping today. Paper. No shipper boxes. Alright. And here they are, just bagged. Classic Rocker Leo, Ninja April, and then when I was most looking forward to Karai that replaced the Rat King. Let's open these up and uh, see what's what. So the first thing we uh, notice here looking at Leo is it is a casualty of the packaging. The paper on top is not going to protect the figures that are packed on the side. In fact, there's really, there wasn't really any protection at all except for on that one side of the box. There were, well, I guess two of the four sides, but that was not the side that got bashed in. Luckily, I'm not an inbox collector, but that's pretty bad bang up. Let's see. See how everything fared. There. Mic stand. It's taped in on two different sides. Guitar strap. Feels like it's been a while since I opened the Super 7. It's ridiculous that this is wave 10 and we still haven't had wave 7. <laughs> what is on this pizza? Clams? Katana... Guitar is choice <laughs> oh oh okay all right i wait oh there there we go oh i had to heat that up okay we, we got a uh, a double guitar here let's see if we can get this Ooh, um, I will come back to, oh, Jesus, oh, yeah, that, okay, I'll be right back, all right, I'm back, so, uh, to put the strap on, you're gonna need to heat it up, uh, if you don't heat it up, you're gonna damage it. Uh, because it'll take using like your thumbnails and try and squeeze it on and it's silver paint on blue plastic so you're going to damage it. Do not do that. Uh, you see I got a little bit of nails there. It's the only way I could try and force it on. That's bad. So if you get this, do not force it on um, without heating it up. Get a hair dryer, heat the strap up real nice, then it'll, uh, it'll get on. Uh, these were, um, 
gummy, not straight. Um, once again, grab it, hair dry it while you're holding it. Let gravity pull it straight down. Afterwards, no problem, but yeah. Uh, first thing you need to do is heat this thing up. I honestly don't know uh, how you, at this scale with this material, design this to where that isn't a problem other than using like a, uh, like real, like, uh, like faux leather and uh, some sort of faux leather instead of this plastic material. But using this, painted the way it is, this will damage, you have to heat it up. Okay, anyways, once you do that, hey, that looks cool. Really happy with that. Wish I hadn't damaged it. All right, let's take a look at the rest of the accessories here. Um, cool little glasses, kind of, kind of reminds me of like Elton John. Uh, we've got, I'm not sure on this head, it's just it's got closed eyes. So, what I don't understand, they're sculpted, it looks like sculpted closed, eye, closed eyes. And why are they blue? And I guess the idea is, is those glasses, or those eyes are for these glasses. Well. I don't like that. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at the rest of the uh, accessories here. You got a mic stand? Got a blue paint on a wrap. Looks like we got articulation at the top. Microphone looks really nice. Pointer and a like half gripping hand. Regular, what we expect to gripping hand. Same for the other sides, so left and right that way. Ah, guitar pick. That's pretty cool. All right. Take a look at Leo here. Wow. Turtles rock. He's got a harmonica in his pocket. All right. Looking at him. All right. He... Rock and out. Still trying to absorb what I'm seeing here. All right, so we got a bandana, and then we got the bandana around the bandana. <laughs> um, leather jacket, sculpted, sculpted on. It's not a separate piece. It feels. Is it? Um, I mean, it's just the matte paint. We got studs on this leather vest, rolled up sleeves, torn up jeans, knee pads. We got studs on the boots, buckles. Whoa, is that ratcheting? No, okay. All right, uh, looks all right. Um, all right, let's, let's uh, see how everything is here. Uh, Really? It might just be a little bit stiff here. No, okay. So this is hindering some articulation. So he can not look up. Can barely look down. We've got uh, hardly any tilt. And we've got a little bit of side to side. Don't want to do too much because you're going to be grinding against that black on the orange red. All right. Uh, <clears throat> arms full. Single jointed for now. We get the 2003 turtles coming out what, next year, two years, three years, four years, whenever they actually do come out. They have the double jointed articulation. Uh, as far as I mean, one thing we like to check with Super 7 Turtles is hips. How tight are they? This, this is pretty tight. 
They don't have that huge wobble that you have on some of the uh, older turtles. So these actually, there's actually a, like a ratchet to them. All right, that works. Stands really well. Um, range, not much. The single jointed knee, barely get anything. But you got lots of rocker, so you can spread those legs out, get some posability out there, but just with limited on the knee, you're not gonna get too crazy with the poses. Uh, what's, what we want though, is we want to get that pick and Okay. So, well, all right. That looks like he's um, pressing the string. So I think I think we're supposed to use this one. But then the thought, though. <sighs> How the hell? Are we gonna get him both with this guitar? Alright. Does he pose with the guitar? That's a good question. Uh oof. how? Are we gonna have to heat up the hands? Heat up that thumb maybe? Alright. I'll see if this can be done. I will be back. Alright, I am back. So this is a figure for the hair dryer. <laughs> that's, in my, that's, in, uh, that's all there is to it. Do not be careful about putting his head too, too far back. I keep trying to put his head back, but it's rubbing there. So uh, yeah, so if you heat this hand up, you can pry the fingers back. Now he's holding the frets of the guitar. N not bad, pretty cool. All right, got the pick on the strings where the pickups are. Yeah, all right, cool. This is how I'll uh, most likely keep them posed. Uh, these glasses, bleh, this head, bleh. Uh, but for a rocker Leo, this is cool. I like I like this. Not a fan of a lot of other stuff going on, but this, the, just the core figure, how I want to display it, this works for me. It's awesome. Cool. Let's move on to the next. All right, let's get April out of this box. All right, let's get the accessories out, just like with the uh, katana. Oh, she's got all the here. Okay, we got a, a yellow painted wrapped katana. That's pretty sweet. Bow staff. The chucks, um, pliable, but not bendy. These heads are gonna be pain. All right, let's get the camera out. So, classic figure, her camera was a gun. This is not a gun. Looks like there's a tripod mount on it, though. Doesn't seem to be anything to it. All right, Put everything. We've got. One side to go with our one sword, one chuck. Channel six microphone with metal chain chucks. Let's see if the sticker was, uh, I've been getting that in the lights. So you can see it was not, oh, there's a sculpt defect. It looks like, I don't know, the sticker was not. Let's see, get the light on it again. So you can see a lot. Uh, it's not light on there. The oh, uh, yes. on both, both of them. This is pretty funny. Uh, very small handles, so. Well, she's got small hands, but that's that's funny. That's very funny. I'll still look at how, how she pulls with that. Uh, we got uh, ninja stars. We've got eight additional hands, two additional heads. Uh, I need to put no. Uh, 
we have the uh, NECA clips. <laughs> Nippers from uh, model kits are really good at getting rid of these clips for NECA figures. I've seen most accessories. Let's take a look at these heads. Kind of like uh, Electra vibes there. Yeah. So you can go with the Electra look. This is just a ninja mask on the more traditional April head sculpt from like the original figure. And then we got this ravishing, I call it a ravishing hairstyle. Um, I think inspired by the vintage figure. I'm going to double check on that. All right, back. This is what I was thinking. This figure here. Some some resemblance here. <laughs> is April the gutsiest gal to ever gather no news? <laughs> when we're stopping, I'll scoop ya. So she's got gun, microphone. She's got the camera. Sure, what that is. That same art again. But this is this is what I'm reminded of when I see this figure. I know it's different. This is a ninja. This is not quite a ninja. She's got pouches, like freaking <laughs> like probably high filled or when uh does add some designs to her. I like I do like the purple though. Here we got the green and yellow, so different, but I, I am reminded of this figure. But uh, let's see if we got, we got the yellow and green ninja garb. We got an A, <laughs> it's like a turtle spell, but it's an A, that's pretty funny. Uh, we got uh, wraps, sandals. I might actually leave, I might leave this head sculpt on, I don't know, maybe I think it's gonna be one of these two, but I think I want to go with this just because it reminds me of this vintage figure. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave it uh, with this head sculpt. Uh, let's see. Oh, All right. Oh, we got a shell on the back. Green stripe. Paint-wise, like everything looks pretty good. You know, after um, looking at the Earthworm Jim figure just recently, I don't know what uh, production figures are like. Everything seems good. Whoa! You heard that, right? We have ratcheting shoulders? Single jointed swivel. Ratcheting shoulder. Hey, is this shoulder on? Huh. I'm a little concerned. I'd like to get this arm down all the way, like it is on here. I don't want to break it, but I mean, obviously, there's movement there. So, bring in close and push. Nope. <sighs> um. It looks like it's assembled correctly. That goes down. What the heck? Rotate. Go hey! Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, just need to loosen up. Okay. Cool, I was panicking there. All right, cool, all right. Uh, legs. Very stable. Yeah, um, 
knee, single knee, that far. We got a swivel. Ah, the shin. Really good rocker, so you can get her in the splits. She should be able to stand in the splits. And Terry, no problem. <laughs> cool. Oh, ratchet in the hips as well. So this is new soft uh, soft material here. It makes a lot of noise, but doesn't appear to be an issue with rub or anything. Okay, I hope not. I don't see any. Okay. They've obviously changed the designs of the figures. Like, uh, engineering, they've changed them. Uh, I'd say it was a good thing. She, she stands just fine. No problem. Which is the one thing that everyone is concerned about with Super 7 figures is, do they stand? Yes, easily, no problem. All right, uh, there's a lot going on with weapons here. I definitely want to use these. Now we got a trigger finger. So this looks like it would hold them even without. Okay, they got to be heated up. Let's take a look at these other hands. It's flat hand. Another gripping hand. Another flat hand. The gripping hand. So we got various levels of grip and, and wait, what? Oh, trigger on either. So it's just okay. Trigger on either side. So I'm assuming one grips closer than the other. Yeah. So I just gotta find the right one because one's probably for the blow staff and. This, that doesn't, hmm. I think that's more handle going it, but I think the heat will need to be applied to get that on. Anyways, pretty happy with it. Okay, well, let's move on to the figure I'm most looking forward to, Cry. One last thing before I move on to Cry. I was working on getting these into her hands. We got two sets of hands, one, is a uh, closed and then one is slightly open that uh, you can put something into now be aware um, when I when I was putting this on I had a chain break a chain link break now it's just a chain link so I'm able to put it back together squeeze it back together but it did come apart so something to be aware of it did happen it may not happen to you but it could happen uh, so one thing I noticed is this particular wrist joint on this side is really loose, really loose. This one, not so much. This one's very loose. <laughs> So I will have to uh, pose her to hide that uh, that feature, or maybe I can um, take this out. Maybe put some nail polish in the joint to thicken that in. But, ah, oh, it just wasn't in all the way. Oh, wow, is this in all the way? No, it wasn't push it really hard to get it in so you won't see any seam at all. Oh, then it's much better. Okay. Push the wrist joints in. Put some force. Make sure they pop. If they don't pop, they're not in all the way. Okay. This, this uh, honestly, this looks kind of silly, but I'll play around with it. I still like it, though. Alright, let's move on to Karai. Okay, my main event. It's time to unbox Karai. A figure I have most been looking forward to. I collect, I've been collecting Karai since she's had action figures. So I have the 2003, I have the 2007. 
uh, both 2012 and the uh, last run in NECA. Uh, NECA announced a, um, a Cry as Shredder, but she's always been one of my favorite characters. I, yeah, I, I've been really looking forward to this. Let's open this up. I was really happy that uh, Rat King was replaced with uh, Cry because Rat King looked awful. <laughs> Okay, uh, we've got a, so got a Combound Bow. Let's get these arrows out first. Wow. I forget the name of this weapon. And I'm not even, I, I think I know what it is, but I'm not going to say it. Just so I don't sound like an idiot. We've got the, the ball and chain same chain that we saw in April, likely Mikey's weapons as well. Uh, some straps painted red, blacks, uh, kind of gray, silver, metallic, ball a little darker gray. The bow, compound bow, pretty sweet. This, so uh, we got a st rail string here, and these parts here are uh, plastic. So, we have the arrows. It looks like there's a bit of a notch, so I bet, like with the Super 7 Robin Hood, you can likely pose her with the uh, bow and arrow drawn. That's always cool. little flexible there. I'm hoping it's not an issue. Let's take a look at how it's tied up there. It's just like a little bungee cord tied and tied in a knot up there. Not glued. It's just a knot and snipped. Probably won't pose it just with um, the bone arrow drawn. I'm concerned on how long that will last. Still need that. Okay. Same. I'm assuming these are the exact same hands from April. Let me just double check here. It's got the same two stars as well. The two flat. The, uh, the hands with the finger the trigger fingers then the hand with the thumb that is not or that is connected and we've got a pointer finger here so there's a slight difference but everything else is the same okay it looks like it's April's katana just painted black and red double check So yeah, this is the exact same sculpt, just paint a different color. Classic uh, Playmates toys, uh, weapons that came with those figures. We've got the same ones here, painted nicely, red and black, silver. Okay. That, uh, there's a bendy wire in the scarf. Okay, I was say, that scarf is kind of crazy. I don't know about that, but maybe if we can use the bendy wire to kind of get it out of the way, it won't be as bad. Yeah, it's not really bad. I, let's take a look at these head sculpts here. Hmm, red bandana, no mask, or just mask? And as for the scarf, of course, you can leave that on or not. Um, we have a, ooh, ooh. Okay, so there's a, um, 
engineering wise it looks like it's the same as the new April including those shoulders uh, which you saw I had problems with April I'm going to try and break them free I, or I'm not sure the what exactly is going on I know they're ratcheting but it is really stiff I'm gonna try and get this okay good that one was a lot easier than the other one. Okay, so sign seems to be problematic. I'm not sure I'm gonna keep this on. All right, so let's see. This we got the soft, uh, soft rubbery overlay. Looks nice. Uh, we are engineered the same as April with the so with the whole ultimates, the single jointed elbow, at least until the new turtles. The swivel. So we got the same hands as April. Uh, it looks like these are, yeah, they're exactly ratcheting, exactly like April's uh, legs. Same. Same sculpt. Other than this leg here, a holster, but it's the same, right? Okay. Well, she should stand no problem then. <laughs> yeah, no issues, okay. So no floppy joints. Uh, we got this holster here. Uh, I guess we put this weapon in here. The turtles would have that holster on their back. <laughs> um, This seems weird, because if you put this on, you're still going to see her neck. I don't know about this. Maybe it's for some people. Definitely not me. I'm going to pose her with, I think, her sword. Oh, this, uh, this weapon's pretty sweet, though. But I already have... Uh, Super 7 figure came. No, wait, was it Super 7? It was, um. Hmm, be right back. Alright, I'm reminded of who it was. Mikey! Samurai Mikey! Naka! Same weapon. Let's compare the two. Obviously, this is a kind of a tune aesthetic, so. Not gonna be shiny. It's detailed. Chain, um, I, I know, I, know it's, I like the chain on the NECA one better than this smaller chain on the Super 7. As for like a little, <laughs> I don't know what, what you call the ends of this, but this, uh, we got like a weight here. And here's the ball, kind of like, um, reminds me of, uh, Kill Bill. But yeah, that's what I was reminded of. So I already have a character post with this weapon, so I will not use that weapon. Okay, so we went with the sword, and just like with April, really push that wrist in there until you hear that pop. This, I'm, I don't think I'm keeping this. This is just all over the place. Doesn't look good in there. Um, yeah, it's just really loose in there. I don't think it looks good in there at all. I actually, I... Okay. Into the bag of accessories. I am still torn on the scarf. I am still... I'm not sure which... I might go with this head. I don't know about the scarf. I might go this head, no scarf. I'll play around with it. Uh, but I'm just happy to have a, a new cry figure. I love I love the character, and she's one of the most important characters in the comics. And I don't know why she is so ignored when it comes to action figures. But I'm glad we have this figure. I'm excited for the new NECA figure. But this one, I'm I'm. 
I'm happy. This is, uh, she'll fit in. I mean, I know this character wasn't in that playmate style, but um, I think I think she'll fit in. I'm happy with it. Cool. I will do some do some comparison shots a little bit later. Maybe another video. Try and get this out so people can see what they're doing with paint wise. Let's just take a look here. Everything's just like the, the metal. Is that a little nope? Alright. Everything's just crispy clean. It's so good. When a Super 7 figure is done well. I don't know, it's still $55. Is this a $55 figure? I mean, is this $20? Is this $20 more than a NECA Ultimate? Well, it's up for you to decide, I guess. <laughs> this is, uh, but still, I'm happy with it. Uh, I know a lot of people just want to wait for discounts. I know there's some discounts happening right now because the wave just came out. But the orders for these are not as high as prior orders, so you are unlikely to see the huge discounts that we saw in some of those older waves. So uh, if you're if you're into this wave at all, you might want to consider placing an order soon. Who was the last figure in this wave? Yeah, I just remembered. Uh, the last figure in this wave was a repainted Casey Jones. He has a red shirt, like the Mirage NECA Casey Jones that just came out. I'm just happy with my uh, Playmate style Casey Jones, because that's the style that most of my collection is. So, it, just like with the new Shredder, I've been ignoring the repaints and just picking up the new characters. Really happy with this. Pretty happy with the line overall. Uh, the only, uh, the only real issues were with Leo, and just heat him up. But uh, like I said, I'll try and get some comparison shots later. I will try and edit this best I can. Get rid of my pauses and <laughs> all the fun stuff that uh, comes from just uh, talking, making mistakes, all that fun stuff, all the dead. Uh, spaces, whatnot. Try and edit that out and get this video up so people can see what's uh, what we got from the new Super Seven Wave. And Super Seven Wave Seven is supposed to come out this year, supposedly. I'm not so so sure on that. Um, the release date keeps getting pushed back, so I would be surprised if we get it this year. But those uh, 2003 turtles look awesome. Hopefully we get those in the next couple of years. <laughs> Come on, Super 7. All right. Thanks, guys.